First of all, I want to congratulate you on the announcements that you made about rules beefing up the Packages and Stockyards Act. I know that you're committed to that, uh, the use of that act and the enforcement of that act. The first thing that I'm going to ask you about is uh, pretty simple, whether or not uh, what I'm going to describe to you was the USDA consulted in regard to this. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, the Solicitor General filed a brief of whether or not uh, the Supreme Court should take a case involving widely used uh, pesticide. In Iowa, we call it Roundup, but uh, the big classification is glyphosate. Uh, in that brief, uh, the Solicitor General flipped the government's long-held position that's been the position of the law since 1972 that FIFRA preempts state law and uh, then the Solicitor General argued uh, even against uh, uh, the uh, EPA authority that the law requires. Were you consulted on that in any way? Uh, Senator, w we weren't. Uh, we continue to work with the EPA um, uh, in terms of uh, crop protection uh, 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 programs or uh, products uh, in an effort to try to make sure that farmers and ranchers have what they need. Yeah, and uh, uh, I think it's uh, clear in the law that the EPA has this sole authority, and uh, I think it's going to be a problem if the federal government or if the Supreme Court would not take this case because uh, state law is, is uh, trying to go beyond what the FIFRA law allows. Since uh, let's just suppose that, uh, that they would, uh, take this case and they'd somehow say that uh, this uh, uh, California law is a legitimate law. Uh, is the USDA uh, doing any analysis that removing uh, these products like Roundup from the marketplace would do to grain, U.S. grain production? Because, you know, this seems to me that this has a big thing to do with the productivity of our American agriculture. Uh, Senator, I'm not sure that I, I know the answer to that question. I'm more than happy to go back and ask our folks if they uh, are in the process of reviewing that. We obviously have a lot on our plate recently uh, with uh, global food security concerns, and that's been my focus. Uh, but uh, I'd be more than happy to check with our, our folks and see whether or not they've done that. And depending upon the outcome of the case and depending upon the nature of the decision that may be forthcoming, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Uh, I'd like to put in the record, Madam Chairman, a letter I wrote to the President on that uh, subject. Without uh, objection. Uh, let me see. The, the, the next one is, uh, have you, because of this uh, possibility that we're going to run short of grain worldwide, not uh, probably not in the United States, but worldwide, and increased uh, U.S. production would have something to do with the shortage uh, mostly caused now because of uh, Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Has USA discovered, uh, discussed opening up the conservation reserve program so that farmers can plant on those acres under these conditions that we have now? Well, first of all, uh, Senator, we announced uh, the fact that in terms of the general sign-up, uh, approximately a little over 1 million acres that was in the program is coming out of the program. So that million acres is going to be available. Secondly, uh, we announced uh, an effort uh, to try to encourage those whose uh, acres are coming out of the program to be able to access their fields more quickly. As you know, uh, they cannot, uh, based on the rules, go into uh, uh, the fields and take active uh, activities prior to October 1st. Well, we're basically suggesting that they can now voluntarily terminate without penalty for those roles that are now coming or those acres that are now coming out of the program so that they'd be in a position to to do work now uh, on that land to either prepare it for uh, a crop or to potentially even uh, think about uh, uh, other crops that could be grown uh, during the course of the winter. So we have looked for ways in which we can provide help and assistance. Uh, my time's out. I may submit some questions for answer and writing on other subjects. Thank you, Madam Chair.